Okay, so it's been a while since I did a comparison video on this channel. So today we are going to take a look at the Samsung Galaxy A52 versus the Techno Camon 18 Premier. Both mid-range devices, the Camon going for about 2000 Ghana cities, while the A52 going for about 1800 Ghana cities. The Camon turning out to be 200 Ghana cities more than the A52. So in this video, we are going to find out if they are both worth the price they are asking for. Let's get to the video. Okay, so let's start with the design and the build. Both feel similar in the hand as they are all made of plastic at the back and has a glass at the front. The A52 being a Gorilla Glass 5, but I can't say similar for the Camon 18 as I can't really find any information on that online. In terms of camera design, both have the same placement in terms of positioning, but the Camon's camera cutout seems to be slightly bigger than the A52 and nicer if you ask me. They all have a Type-C charging port, a headphone jack, and a similar placement of the volume and power button. The Camon's power button serves as a fingerprint sensor as well, while the A52 has an in-display fingerprint sensor. I always choose the Camon's way of implementing the fingerprint sensor as I feel it's a more secure way compared to the in-display on the A52. Let me know which one you prefer in the comment section below. Coming to the screens, the Camon has a bigger display at 6.7 inches, whilst the A52 has a 6.5 inches display, both 1080p displays, 120Hz on the Camon and 90Hz on the A52. Both have AMOLED panels which make them really competitive on paper, but in the real life, the Camon 18 Premier's display seems to be more saturated and makes the A52's display look more natural. Just take a look at both displays. So depending on your preference, which is going to be majority of the people, more saturated look on the Camon 18 Premier might be more pleasing to a lot of people. But the A52 is sharper and has more details to my eyes. This is something I didn't really notice until I placed both devices next to each other. The picture profile on the A52 is still vivid but still isn't as saturated as the Camon 18. But when it comes to brightness, the A52 is brighter at 800 nits compared to the 550 on the Camon. Let me know which of these screens you prefer in the comment section as well. When it comes to performance, the Camon 18 Premier has an Android 11 High OS 8, has a MediaTek chipset, also has 8GB of RAM and 256GB of storage. When it comes to the A52, we also have Android 11 with One UI 3.1. This comes with the Snapdragon 720 chipset. High OS is pretty cleaned up as compared to other versions and feels really nice. And One UI is similarly as nice as well. For performance, both devices perform really well in everyday usage. Even the synthetic benchmark scores, the Camon beats the A52 slightly in multi-score performance, which is really impressive. For everyday you say the Camon seems to be a tad bit faster in terms of animation compared to the A52. This might be as a result of the 120Hz refresh rate on the screens, the animation seems to be a bit more faster if you compare it to the A52. So just like we do in the PC world, I wanted to find out which one is faster in terms of rendering speed. So if in case you find yourself being a creator and you shoot videos on your phone, when rendering on both devices, which one is going to be faster? That's exactly what I'm going to find out in this comparison. So I rendered a 1080p video I shot on my USR on both devices. And as you can see, the Camon 18 Premier beat the A52 hands down. So we can confidently say the Camon is faster in terms of processing speed. And that is really impressive. Now let's talk about the batteries found on both devices. The Camon 18 Premier has a 4750 mAh battery, whilst the A52 has a 4500 mAh battery. Both devices will take you throughout the day with moderate usage, but will definitely drain if you heavily play games or use this device back to back. And when it comes to charging speed, the Camon is going to charge faster as it comes to the 33 watts fast charger in the box, whilst the A52 only supports 25 watts of fast charging. So in that department too, we can say the Camon takes the lead. Now, the Camon seems to be doing a really good job so far. 
But let's check out the cameras on both devices and see which one is the best. When it comes to the camera department, the camera has a 64 megapixel main, an 8 megapixel periscope, a 12 megapixel ultra wide. This is able to shoot videos in 4K 30 FPS. When it comes to the A52, this, this also has a 64 megapixel main, a 12 megapixel ultra wide, a 5 megapixel macro, and a 5 megapixel depth sensor. This also shoots videos in 4K 30 FPS. Sample footages from both cameras, it looks like the A52 produces more pleasing pictures compared to the Camon, with better dynamic range and color reproduction. And in that department, I'll give it to the A52. But the Camon also has something beneath its sleeves. The zoom capability blows the A52 out of the waters. Okay, so this is a front camera video test on both cameras. On the left, we have the A52, and on the right, we have the Camon 18 Premier. What do you think about the footage? The Camon is shooting at 2K, and the A52 is shooting at full HD 30 FPS. What do you think about the skin tones? Also, how do I sound? Let's get interactive in the comment section. But in general, for footages from both devices, when it comes to the cameras, I'm going to give it to the A52 as this looks really nicer compared to the Camon 18. Let me know which one you prefer also in the comment section. So in summary, it looks like both devices are capable devices. The Camon seems to justify a slightly higher price compared to the A52 by producing superior performance, a bigger and faster refresh rate screen, and better batteries too. And the A52 has some amazing cameras too. Which of these two devices are you going to go for? Remember, the Camon is selling for 2,060 Ghana cities, whilst the A52 is going for about 1,800. So considering both prices, which of these devices are you going to go for? This was an impressive comparison in general. Let me know which one you prefer in the comment section. Also, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, turn on the post notifications so you get notified the next time I upload another video. Leave in the comment section your views, comments, or anything you want me to check out, and I'll always get back to you. Thank you for spending time with me, and I'll see you in another one. Peace. I'm out. Yo.